Hi guys, I'm Casey, and today I'm going to talk to you about the slope of a line. Now, the slope of a line is the rise over the run. So how much you're going up versus how much you're going over. Think about it like a hill. If a hill's very steep, you're going to go up a lot more than you're going to go across this way. And if it's very not so steep, you're going to go up a little bit and you're going to go across a lot. So let's just say the slope is 2. And let's say, for the sake of simplicity, our jumping off point is the origin right here. So what is the line going to look like of a, with a slope of 2 starting at the origin? Well, we are going to go, as we have a rise of 2, and we know that from algebra we can always write a number like this, over 1. So we have a run of 1. So from here we're going to take this and we're going to go up 2 and over 1. Up 2 and over 1. And once you have two points, you can always connect the dots on a line and go right straight through like that. So just remember that the rise is always how much you go up the y, and the run is how much you go across the x. So the, the top of the fraction is how much you go up, and the run is how much you go across. So now I have a challenge for you. I want you to show me what the line would look like from a one-half starting at the origin. And I want you to pause the video and show me that answer. I hope your answer looked like this. So as you can see here, the slope of 1 half means that I went up 1 and then over 2. Again, I went up 1 and over 2. So now notice a slope of 2 like we have over here is a lot more steep than a slope of 1 half. So the smaller the number you have, the less steep the line is, and the bigger the number you have, the more steep the line is. I hope this video uh, helped you understand more about the slope of the line, and I hope you uh, check out more of our uh, videos coming up about uh, how you graph different lines.